Next question, question 26. Certain three digit numbers have the following characteristics. All the three digits are different. The number of a number is divisible by 7. The number on reversing the digit is also divisible by 7. How many such three digit numbers are there? This is a relatively tougher question. Um, so we'll just, since the number on reversing the digit is also divisible by 7, uh, we can write the three digit number first as 100x plus 10y plus z. So we are assuming our first digit is xyz. So xyz means uh, 100x plus 10y plus z. This will give xyz. So uh, on reversing it will become zyx or 100z plus 10y plus x. So this is the number on rever uh, reversing. When we reverse this number, we will get this. Z y x. Okay. Z y. Z y x. Okay. Now it is given both these numbers are divisible by seven. Um, so from this, uh, we can uh, say if two numbers are divisible by seven, then the difference is also divisible by seven. Uh, assuming x, y, z is the larger number here, uh, since we took x, y, z as a random number, uh, it can we can take assume whichever number as the largest. So x, y, z is the largest number I, I assume. So um, on on subtracting we have hundred x minus hundred z or uh, minus ten y minus ten y it cancels out plus z minus x or hundred x minus z plus z minus x this is the number we get or further simplifying we get 99 into uh, x minus z this is the difference this is also divisible by 7 since these two numbers are divisible by 7 this is also divisible by 7 so if this is divisible by 7 as you can see uh, 99 is not divisible by 7. So if you divide by 7, the remainder will be 1, 7, 29. So which is 28, 1. Remainder will be 1. So uh, it is not divisible by 7. 98, if it was 98, it was divisible by 7. So it is not divisible. So that means since the product of two numbers is divisible by 7 and 99 is not divisible by 7, uh, it means x minus z is divisible by 7. So x minus z is divisible by 7 is one information we got. That means therefore, so divisible by, I'll just note down 7. That implies x minus z is divisible by 7. So since x minus z is divisible by 7 uh, and mm, You can see we can uh, uh, how many combinations we have. So if you take x as nine, uh, z will be x y z is the number, right? Z will be nine minus uh, z has to be divisible by seven. So only one combination two uh, nine minus two seven seven is divisible by seven. So x z we have this combination, and again if you take eight. Uh, we have 1, 8 minus 1, 7, 7 is also divisible by 7 um, as our case. And what about, uh, is there any other uh, scenarios, we don't, we cannot uh, put 7 here, then that means 0, it will have uh, 7 minus z, the only number that will, uh, z can have then will be 0. So if if you take this as our case on reversing it will become 0 underscore 7 which is a two digit, two digit number not a three digit number. So this case we cannot take. So only two cases we can take 9 underscore 2 and 8 underscore 1. Um, so uh, now we should see uh, these are the two uh, three digit numbers possible uh, satisfying the scenario x minus z is divisible by 7.
now we have two cases um, and uh, we should find our y uh, to uh, such that it is divisible by 7. So um, we don't have to exactly find the number y here. Uh, if you want, you can find. Uh, how can we find? So if you divide this with 7, uh, 9 underscore 2 by 7, it will be 7, 20 something. So 20 something. Uh, if we put uh, say uh, 1, uh, it will be, um, we, we have to put some number, say this is x, so it becomes 2x. So we will have either uh, 3 or 4 here, right? So if we put 21, uh, x minus 1 should be, uh, should get some number, x minus 1, we will get here, and 2 here. So uh, as you know, the number 27, 21, 28, uh, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, and 70 are the numbers. So here x minus 1 has to be 42, the one ending with the 2. So x minus 1 has to be 42. Uh, so, so, so sorry x minus 1 has to be 4 for this number to be divisible so x minus 1 equal to 4 means x is equal to 5 so the number here has to be x is equal to 5 so 9 5 2 is the that number that will satisfy uh, the divisibility criteria so we don't have to find 5 just remember that we can find a number such that it, it is divisible by 5 uh, the reason being uh, 7 has all uh, uh, that uh, if you check the multiples of 7 every digit comes uh, uh, from 1 to 9 every digit comes in the last place so we can find some number such that this it satisfies this 2 1 and uh, the number becomes divisible uh, so similarly 9 5 2 so we on reversing this becomes 259 both these numbers will be divisible by uh, uh, 7. If you, you can check 25, if you divide, we will get 21 and 4, 49. So this is also divisible by uh, 7. Similarly, we can find for this number. So if you see, uh, uh, I'll just remove this. Four, 8 underscore 1. You do 7, 1, 7, 1, x. So this is x. So x1. Um, so v for 1, it will be 2, 14, right? x minus 4, 1. So x minus 4, 1 uh, has to be 21. So x minus 4 has to be 2 or x is equal to 6 so 861 uh, 861 if you put 861 you can see this becomes 16 and this becomes 21 so it becomes divisible by uh, 7 similarly you can find that number in the exam hall you don't have to find all the uh, the exact number we just need the number of cases uh, so uh, 168 is the reverse numbers so uh, Three, uh, how many such three digit numbers are there means 1, 2, 3, 4. These four numbers satisfies these criterions. So our answer, our answer will be there will not be any other number since uh, x minus z has to be divisible by 7. So no matter what uh, any other combination if you come up with any other combination either this will not satisfy or um, we cannot find any other y such that this number will become divisible so only four cases are there uh, and solution to this is 4 b solution to question 26 is b4 as i said this is this involves some concept uh, if you are uh, if you haven't done such questions before 
it will be very difficult to come up with uh, come up with this idea in the exam hall for many so either you can skip this question um or uh practice as much questions as possible so that you are familiar with such questions and you can easily solve such questions in the exam hall so yeah uh every i will mark this as a relatively difficult question the solution to question 26 is b 